name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who was born of the Blessed Virgin, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. My dear friends, we have come here to crown this statue of the Virgin Mother of God. As we begin this celebration, let us be attentive and listen to the word of God in faith. This ceremony has a lesson to teach us about the gospel, that the greatest in the kingdom of heaven are those who are foremost in serving and in love. Our Lord himself came to serve, not to be served. He drew all things to himself when he was lifted up from the earth, and he reigned from the tree by the power of gentleness and of love. And Our Lady, whose glory we proclaim today, was the humble servant of the Lord. When she was on earth, she gave herself utterly to her son and his work. With him and under him, she was an instrument of our redemption. Now, in the glory of heaven, she is still the God-bearer to Christ's brothers and sisters. She cares about their eternal salvation. She is minister of holiness and queen of love. Let us pray. O oh God, since you have given us Mary, the mother of your son, to be our mother and our queen, grant that we who have come here to crown her image may attain the glory of your children in the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who have walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who have lived in a land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. They rejoice before you as they do at the, at the harvest, as they exult when they are dividing the spoils. For the yoke that burn in them, the pole on their shoulder, the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Madan. For every boot that has trampled in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for fire. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. Upon David's throne and of his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten of the might of God. You are the
is with you. Blessed, blessed are you among women. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. To a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of reading this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. <clears throat> Praise be Jesus Christ, <clears throat> now and forever. My dear friends, we've come here today in this month of May that is dedicated to our Blessed Lady, as we as we heard at the beginning of our celebration, to give her honor and to recognize her most unique place in the salvation of the world. She who is the mother of God. <clears throat> I'd like to begin with a, an image, and that is about how do we get inside a building, a home or the church building? Well, we have a door, an entranceway that allows us to enter and to go out. <clears throat> now, like yes, unlike yesterday, when we came up for the practice, the door to church was locked. And so we had to find the key and I locked the door so we could be able to come in. Today, the church doors were unlocked and ready to accept us to come in. Now, I bring that image up <clears throat> for this reason, and that is because sometimes we can be like an open door, and sometimes we can be like a, a locked door, blocking entrance. Our Blessed Lady was an open door she was pious and holy, certainly. She was given a special grace by the Father from, from time immemorial. She was preserved from sin by a singular grace of God in anticipation of her son's death and resurrection. She was open to God. And so when the angel came, although she was startled and she was confused by the message, she was willing to place her trust in his word her trust in God, and to go with what was being told of her, not knowing all of the following consequences of how it would all play out, but willing to be an open vessel, an open door, to allow the Spirit to accomplish the purpose of the Father, not only in her, but through her and in the world. Because Mary said yes to the angel, to God's fa the Father's invitation, Jesus came into this world, our Savior. The Son of God became Son of Mary in order to save us, to redeem us, and to bring forth 
the message of reconciliation and of healing. If Mary had been unwilling, if she had said no, and she certainly had free will, we would never have had that opportunity. Jesus would not have come into this world. You see, it's so important for us to imitate our Blessed Lady in our own lives. We don't want to be locked doors to the actions of God's graces in our lives. We don't want to block out the Holy Spirit who seeks to, <clears throat> to anoint us and to prompt us and to inspire us to do what God asks of us. The Holy Spirit seeks to inflame our hearts with the burning fire of God's love so that we can fulfill God's commandments in this world by being open doors and allowing God's power and God's love not only to transform us within, but through our words and actions and our good deeds to help transform this world with the presence of Christ. And so, my dear friends, as we come to honor our Blessed Lady today, may we take that message with us of her humble, of her, of her humility and of her docility to the Spirit, to God the Father, and to her Son. She is his first disciple, and she shows us how to live our lives in conformity with his, so that we might indeed truly bring to our brothers and sisters, to a broken and fallen world, the power, the love, and the presence of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of heaven and earth, for in your mercy and justice you cast down the mighty and exalt the lowly. Your marvelous wisdom is shown above all in the Word made flesh and in his virgin mother. For he, your Son, who freely humbled himself even unto death on the cross, now sits at your right hand and is radiant with unending glory, the King of kings and Lord of lords. And she, the virgin who wished to be called your servant, was singled out to be mother of the Redeemer and true mother of all the living. Now she is exalted above the choirs of angels and reigns in glory with her son, praying for all of us, the queen of mercy, pleading for grace. Merciful Lord, look upon us, your servants, who by crowning this image of the mother of your son, Proclaim him as king of all creation and approach her as our queen. Give us the grace to follow them in serving you, to do what love demands for the sake of our brothers and sisters, to deny ourselves and spend ourselves so as to win our neighbors for you, to be lowly on earth so as to be exalted in heaven, where you reward your faithful servants with a crown of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please stand. Hail Mary. And bless is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Gen 
gentle woman, quite right, morning star, so strong and bright, gentle mother, peaceful dove, teach I sweet Teach us love. You were chosen by the Father. You were chosen for the Son. You were chosen from all for women, shining one, gentle woman, quiet light, morning star, so strong and bright, gentle mother, Teach us wisdom, teach us Please join me in responding to the litany. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, our Father in heaven. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world. God, the Holy Spirit. Holy Trinity, one God. Holy Mary. Holy Mother of God, Pray most honored of virgins, Pray for us. chosen daughter of the Father, Pray for us. Mother of Christ the King, Pray for us. glory of the Holy Spirit, Pray for us. virgin daughter of Zion, Pray for us. virgin pure and humble, Pray for us. virgin gentle and obedient, Pray for us. handmaid of the Lord, Pray for us. Mother of the Lord, Helper of the Redeemer, Pray for us. full of grace, Pray for us. fountain of beauty, Pray for us. model of virtue, Pray for us. finest fruit of the redemption, Pray for us. perfect disciple of Christ, Pray for us. untarnished image of the church, Pray for us. woman transformed, Pray for us. woman clothed with the sun, Pray for us. woman crowned with stars. Gentle Lady, Pray for us. Gracious Lady, Pray for us. Our Lady, Pray for us. Joy of Israel, Pray for us. Splendor of the Church, Pray for us. Pride of the Human Race, Pray for us. Advocate of Grace, Pray for us. Minister of Holiness, Pray for us. Champion of God's People, Pray for us. Queen of Love, Pray for us. Queen of Mercy, Queen of Peace, Pray for us. Queen of Angels, Pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs and Prophets, Pray for us. Queen of Apostles and Martyrs, Pray for us. Queen of Confessors and Virgins, Pray for us. Queen of All Saints, Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, Pray for us. Queen assumed into Heaven, Pray for us. Queen of all the Earth, Pray for us. Queen of Heaven, Queen of the universe. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Yes, Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Yes, Lord. 
the Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world. Pray for us, O glorious Mother of the Lord. Let us pray. O God, our Father, you give joy to the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the prayers of his mother, the Virgin Mary, bring us to the happiness of eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Please be seated, except for grade eight. act of consecration to Mary. Holy Mary, Mother of Jesus, I entrust myself to your special protection this day, every day, and at the hour of my death. I consecrate to you, my family, my friends, my country, and the whole human race confident that whatever I commend to your care will be preserved, strong, and joyful, and will belong most truly to your Son, Jesus Christ. Reign over us, Mary, as we pass through joy and sorrow, through health and sickness. Help us to follow Jesus faithfully. Protect us from sin, preserve us in good health. Mother of God, be our mother watch over the people of God, and lead us to Jesus, who died and rose for us, amen. Oh, Maria, triumph. 